Most of the energy harvested from organic molecules during glycolysis and the Krebs cycle is stored in NADH. NADH and FADH2 molecules give up their high-energy electrons in the third phase of cellular respiration, electron transport and ATP synthase, where most of the cell's ATP fuel is produced. The electron transport chain is an array of molecules, mostly proteins, built into the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. NADH gives up its high-energy electrons to the first complex in the electron transport chain. The electrons move from one member of the chain to the next, giving up their energy as they are pulled from NADH toward oxygen. The energy given up by the flow of electrons is used to pump hydrogen ions from the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space. Oxygen captures the electrons in the very last step in electron transport. The last complex adds a pair of electrons to an oxygen atom and two hydrogen ions, forming water. The electron transport chain has used the energy of moving electrons to pump hydrogen ions into the intermembrane space. This buildup of hydrogen ions, like water behind a dam, stores the potential energy that was originally in the bonds of glucose molecules. The backed up hydrogen ions give up their energy when they diffuse through a special protein complex in the membrane called ATP synthase. As hydrogen ions flow down their concentration gradient, ATP synthase captures their energy to make ATP. Under normal conditions, almost all the ATP produced in the process of cellular respiration is manufactured by the energy that electron transport provides to ATP synthase. About 34 ATP 